Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you to set different weights on a random number generator in Godot 4. This can be used for many things such as a supply drop where you want different rarities such as common, epic, legendary, etc. And obviously you want more common than uncommon and more uncommon than rare, etc. So here I have a couple example weights for common, rare, epic, and legendary. So what we want to do is get the sum of all these weights and then pick a number between 0 and that sum. So for this example that would be 0 to 1850. So for whatever number this is, we want to loop through the entire list of rarities and check if it's less than one of these values. So let's say the total is 400. Well, then it will be a common. However, as we know, we can go above a thousand. This is how we get lower rarities. So let's say we have 1300 as our rarity. Well, we can't fit it into a thousand. So we'll simply subtract that from here. And now we're left with 300. Excuse my Poor drawing, drawing with a mouse. So this fits into rare. So as you can start seeing, the higher the number we have, the more rare of item we get. So let's say it's 1550. So we first check common. It can't fit, so we subtract 1000. We're now left with 550. It can't fit into rare, so we subtract 500. Now we're left with only 50. But this can fit into epic, so that's our rarity. So in our code now, let's create a new variable. Let's just call it rarities. So this would be a dictionary, so that way we can have a name and a number. And I'll add in common with its associated value. I'll do rare with this value. And I've gone ahead and added the rest of the values. Let's initiate the RNG. So RNG gets random number generator dot new. Let's go and create a new function. Let's just call it get rarity in here. We will randomize our RNG, so RNG dot randomize. Next, we need to calculate the sum, so variable weighted sum. We'll set to zero for now because we want to add to it. Let's go and loop through our rarities, so for n in rarities, we will add to the weighted sum rarities, and we want to get the value, so we will pass in. N. And now we need to pick a random number between 0 and our calculated sum. So variable item will set to rng dot rand i range with 0 to our weighted sum. And now we will once again loop through our rarities. So for n in rarities, we will check if that number is less than or equal to that current item, so rarities n, and then if it is, we will return n. And then if it's not, we will simply subtract that rarity from our item. To test this, let's create a new ready function. Then I will print get rarity. Now if we press play you'll see that we actually got rare. And to really test this, let's create a for loop. So for n in, let's say 100, and then we'll print the rarity for 100 items. And you'll see now, we can look here, and you'll see that we get quite a few more commons than rares, more rares than epics, and more epics than legendaries. Anyways guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.